All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start this video by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, the bonus of the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is Aratiza, once again, from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp, with another video. And uh, got another article here uh, that a brother uh, sent in the chat um, from a website called ThePeople'sVoice.tv. And uh, as you can see the title there, it says Pentagon Insider Sounds the Alarm. World War Three will begin this year. All right. And it says uh, the caption here says a Pentagon Insider has warned that the world is on the brink of World War Three and has urged citizens to prepare for all our war in the coming months. And. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we, you know, I know we sound like a broken record, <laughs> all right, but uh, it's necessary, you know, the, the, um, as you know, as, as the scripture says, um, and I'll open with that actually, and I'll go into the article, um, let's go off the top of the head here, uh, Isaiah 62, and um, this, the sixth verse, yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah 62 and 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. See that? And the watchmen are the prophets. Okay, the watchman is set up to uh, basically for, foresee, you know, the uh, danger that's, that's coming, you know, and to warn the people. And that's what we're set up to do. All right, from the apostles on down, you got all the, the you know the other Israelite camps out there that's teaching and you know that's prophesying the word of the Lord. All right, we're set up to you know really warn our people about what's coming. And it says what uh, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. So that's why these videos keep circulating, and we hit the same topics over and over and over and over because you know that's us not holding our peace. You know, we're prophesying and we're speaking on what's happening and we're telling the people what's going to happen prior to it actually going down. So we're telling you that World War Three is coming and we, as the scriptures say, um, we're basically giving a sense. All right. And explaining it through the through the Holy Scriptures. It says, you that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. All right. So that's why we, we you know, we do our videos, we go out to the highways and byways. And we speak in the ears of our people the words of prophecy. All right. So in the second verse of the 15th chapter, the first verse. All right. And then it goes on in verse seven. It says, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. All right. And when it speaks about, when you read about the Jerusalem, <clears throat> speaking about the nation of Israel. All right. Which consists of so-called Negroes, Hispanics. And Native Americans. And the Lord's going to make us a praise in the earth once again. He's going to raise us up. All right. And, you know, essentially. Take our enemies out and put us over the other nations. All right. But but to that time, <coughs> the Lord got the prophet set up to prophesy. Now, let's go back to the article. It says uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, obviously, as always, just hit the, you know, a few points. It says uh, in this middle paragraph here, it says, according to reports, a source. Inside the U.S. Pentagon has warned the world is on the brink of a major conflict as Iran and its allies continue to launch attacks across the Middle East. All right. Uh, it says the warning comes as Iranian backed proxies destabilize the Middle East by attacking Israel and U.S. targets as well as as well as international shipping in the region. Iran itself also has carried out strikes in neighboring Iraq and Pakistan, as well as Syria, sending tensions soaring. All right. It says all news pipeline dot com reports. We have see, we have. We just should be seen, seen many. Say across the Internet that they wouldn't want to survive a nuclear war, but there will be survivors. So unless they plan to go against the written word, survive, they must. And they will hopefully be prepared to do so. 
Well, as far as as far as here, as far as here in America, all right, no no flesh is going to be saved unless you're part of the elect, the remnant of the nation of Israel, which again is the so-called Negroes, Spanish, Native Americans. Those are going to be the only souls that are going to be saved out of America when actually World War Three is happening. All right, and, and you know missiles are fired off, man. Other than that, all right, <laughs> everybody else is going to die in that in that lake of fire, like it says in Revelation 20. All right, and you're going to have other parts of the earth that's going to get hit with nukes. People are going to die. You know, you also got the land of Israel. That land also is going to be totally wiped out. All right. So there's going to be survivors. There's going to be people on the earth. All right. Everybody's not going to die and perish. But as far as America, this is this is going to be totally wiped out, man. All right. And there's plenty of plenty of scriptures on that. <clears throat> All right. Let's read a little more. It says, uh, that isn't the only things we were hearing as President Trump recently offered the same warning in Iowa. And Russian news anchor Vladimir Solovoy, if I'm saying it right, also warning his audience that the planet was moving towards World War I mean, they have two here, but I believe it should say World War Three. It says, while, while the Middle East is the most unstable at the moment, Europe is also the location of conflict with the Russian-Ukraine war. A NATO military committee chair uh, recently explained why NATO is also preparing for a wider conflict. It stated it is not a given that we are, we, that we are in peace. The video of the comments are at the bottom of this article. So, yeah. So, the, basically, these... these uh, Tensions are rising. All right, you got Russia in the mix, which Russia is going to, you know, we've done videos on that in the past, where Russia is going to play a pivotal role in the end of this uh, this system. <clears throat> All right, and the Heavenly Father is bringing this tension, all right, between these nations. But we also got to, uh, you know, also state, okay, for truth's sake, that if they're saying that, they're predicting that, you know, World War Three is that close. That must mean that that the uh, MOTB is close as well. All right, which the MOTB is essentially a um, you know um, acronym. I believe is the right word. All right, for the um, was sp was spoken of in Revelation the thirteenth chapter in the sixteenth uh, verse. All right, and we gotta speak speak in code like that because. YouTube, but take the, you know, they'll take the videos down because they don't want this information to really get out like that. But you read Revelation, the 13th chapter, <coughs> around the 15th verse on down, it speaks about a certain device that, you know, Esau is going to implement to where you got to get it in your, in your forehead and your right hand. And if you don't have this particular device or thing, then that's not going to, you know, you're not going to have the ability to buy or sell. All right. And that's his mark. And that's, you know, when it speaks about the hour of temptation, I believe in Revelations, either the second or third chapter, I kind of get them confused. I think it's the third chapter. It speaks about the hour of temptation. That's what it's talking about, man. Where everybody on the earth is going to be tested on whether they take this mark. So that has to come first. Then World War III is going to come. Because that if it was the other way around, that, would, that wouldn't be the, you know, correct order of the prophecy. All right. So the hour of temptation has to come first, then World War Three is going to happen. But we're pretty much in World War Three right now. All right. So it's, it's really already happening. But actual missile fire obviously hasn't taken place yet. But that's going to come after the hour of temptation. <clears throat> All right. So let's get that. And um, Revelations 11 just came to mind. I think it's 11 and 14. Right. And as a matter of fact, I'll start up at uh, verse 11, actually. All right. This is Revelations 11 in. Um, Sakya of uh, Revelations 11 and 11. It says in after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the most high entered into them right this, this three days and a half represents 350 years which i believe is from what the uh, 1620 
1970 or, you know, 1619 to 1969, which was a time where we were basically in a dead state, all right? We were brought here in captivity and we didn't know who we were. We had certain Israelites that might have, they had a, a, a inkling or idea that we were Israelites, but the full truth wasn't brought out yet, all right? So 1969, 1970, that's when the truth was, uh, uh, you know, basically, you know, put out there into the earth, all right? Through a man by the name of Abba Bivens, which we know started the school, which we know was today's... Uh, one West, that's how the truth began to flourish. So that's when um, <clears throat> the spirit of life had entered into uh, Jake, all right, Israel, our people. It says, and they stood upon their feet, all right? Yeah, we stood upon our feet, meaning we had the spirit, we had the truth, we had our um, identity, all right? We had the spirit of the Lord. And it says, and great fear fell upon them which saw them, right? It put fear in Esau, the elites, <clears throat> and the other nations, all right? When they basically saw us come from that dead state. Because basically us us raising up and, and getting this truth back means there means it's basically uh them them going down. All right. Us 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 going up is them going down. All right. And it goes on. Verse 12, it says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. Now this um fast forwards to the end times. All right, this is after. The nuke, well, this is actually while the while the nuclear destruction is act, actually happening, all right. When it, when it, when you know World War Three is is full scale, nukes are flying, bombs are dropping, people are dying, burning in a fire. This is when the this, the, uh, the chariots or the so called UFOs, all right, are going to appear in the skies, and the elect, the remnant, are going to be getting beamed up into those ships to escape that destruction. All right. So it says they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. Right. The cloud is a so-called UFO. And their enemies beheld them. All right. So people going to be looking at the elect, the remnant of Israel being saved while they still on the ground. All right. Basically ready to get hit by nukes. <coughs> and it says, uh, excuse me, 13. In the same hour, was there a great earthquake? Right. The great earthquake was referring to, the, the, uh, again, the thermonuclear destruction when the nukes land and hit the earth is going to actually cause the earth to shake. All right. And it says in the 10th part of the city fell, which is talking about um, the 10 FEMA regions. All right. When you look at America, it's divided into 10 FEMA regions. So that's why I said the 10th part of the city fell. And this place is going to fall, man. Okay, and it says, and in the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand. Right, the number seven represents uh, the number seven represents completion. So seven thousand is a complete number. And it says, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the power of heaven. And this is is the point, verse fourteen. And the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And that's what it's speaking about, World War Three. All right, so according to this uh, Pentagon insider, he said, look, this thing could pop off in a matter of months. Well, that's that's the prophecy, all right? The third world cometh quickly. Now, we know, <clears throat> I mean, I mean, we, I mean, shit, we, we, we hope it come in a matter of months. That means that Esau pretty much got to push, push the MOTB, like, right away, you know? Because, again, that prophecy has to come to pass before World War III is, is actually full-scale happening man you know but either way we, we know what the scriptures say the third world cometh quickly man this thing is right is right around the corner all right and before you know it you know these things are going to be happening in real time and we, and we see it happening as the scripture says we brought it out in a, a prior video where scripture says uh in second the ninth chapter that the end is manifest it's, it's obvious it's clear it's clear to us man <laughs> that we in a time of of these these prophecies, and there's nothing that Esau could do to stop it. Yeah, the scripture says, uh, for his word is uh, faithful and true. Okay, these things are going to happen, man. Um, I mean that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else comes to mind? Um, I, mean, I can get Joel three. That 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 comes to mind. Uh, Joel three and nine, I believe. Um. Yeah, it's pretty much all that comes to mind right now. I didn't have any scriptures written down, so I'm just kind of going on top of the 
off top of the dome. All right, we can read that. Joel 3 and 9. <coughs> Excuse me. Joel 3 verse 9. This is proclaiming this among the Gentiles. All right, these Gentiles are referring to the other nations. It says what? Prepare war. And that's what's happening, man. War is being prepared. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. See that? And that's what's happening. All the troops are being gathered. Which is pretty much, um, you read Revelations, I believe, the 16th chapter. And it speaks about Armageddon. That's basically what is happening. All the troops are being mounted and being gathered together to what? Go to war. All right. Verse 10, it says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Which basically means these nations are taking all of their resources, money, you know, time and energy <laughs> from these other, you know, so-called um industries and, and, and areas of of their uh you know wherever they at <clears throat> they putting that all into their military and their weapons man why because they get ready to go to war this is let the weak say i'm strong okay nations that were once looked at as weak and not a threat now now they're strong and and, and and you know they got weapons now they got missiles you know nations that were once looked at as ah, whatever you know not really a threat <clears throat> or not, you know, on anybody's radar. Now they're strong now, right? Because they got the, the uh, you know, um, technology. Verse 11 says, uh, uh, Joel 3 and 11, As, um, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Did the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord? Yahabashim Yahushai. Let the heathen be, be wakened. And come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. All right. Which is over there, uh, essentially in the uh, Middle East. All right. The place, the place of the Heavenly Father's judgment. This is for there. And it, it basically tells you when you read on in the verse. This is for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Yes, yeah, so the Lord got them in a trick bag. All right. The Lord is the mastermind behind this major conflict. And he's having these nations gathered together in that one area. He got them all over there so he could bring judgment upon them. And it says, 13, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down for the press is full, the fast overflow for the wickedness is great. Right. Meaning judgment is ready. You know, judgment is ready to, uh, you know, take place. And it says, uh, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is near in the valley of decision. See that that day is near, man. That's why that you know the, that that Pentagon, um, um, the Pentagon uh, insider, you know, basically made this statement. All right, <laughs> he believes it's going to happen. And go up to the top here. Yeah, he says it's going to begin this year, and we we hope, Lord willingly, man. We hope this is the year that just basically everything just pops off. Cause that just means hey, the, 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 the faster we get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> all right, and we get the rule in the kingdom. All right, uh, you know, with the Lord, all right, with the Lord, Yahweh Shah and the rest of the elect. But hey, all these things gotta happen first, man. So, you know, that's pretty much uh pretty much it. So that really came to mind through the spirit. Like I said, I didn't have anything written down. It's more of like a uh impromptu. So uh, you know, so yeah, you know, that's it. You know, right? The Lord will use edify and informed, giving all praises on glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachak Wadash, and uh, Lord willingly to the next video. I'm going to say Shalom. All.